Hi everybody, my name is Tim. Thanks for coming and uh, joining my channel. Uh, since this is my first video, I probably ought to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm 49 years old. I'm married. I have two kids. I started playing music when I was 13 years old. I started out playing keyboards. Uh, joined a band with some friends. We used to play, uh, you know, like a junior high dance or we'd play parties or wherever anybody would let us play. Uh, along the way, when around when I was 18, I picked up guitar. Uh, that pretty much switched to be my main instrument for a lot of years, although I kept playing keyboards. Uh, then I picked up bass. I've sang in a few bands. Not because I'm a great singer, but because usually in whatever band I joined, my voice sucked the least. So they put me in front of the microphone. And that's about the extent of it for my musical background. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the Caustic app. I've been using that a good bit lately. Um, I kind of have drifted away from playing music over the years. A full-time job, wife, kids, house, you just start finding less and less time to do things like set up an amp and a guitar and tune and play for hours on end and you just can't do that when you have other responsibilities. But I can grab my tablet and tap away on a, an app and, and make some music here and there. So I've started doing some little mini tracks in Caustic. That's uh, one of the things I wanted to show you today. Okay, so here is my caustic project. I started with the beatbox to get some drums going. Uh, it's really just a, uh, a grid, you know, a piano roll grid like you're used to in most DAWs. Uh, I chose the trance kit. Normally I'm a rock player, but caustic seems to be geared a little more towards electronic style music. So I thought, you know, when in Rome, um, so I picked the trance kit. Uh, the first pattern I got up was uh, this guy here. Let me put this into pattern mode for a second. And you can hear the, the beat. Let me solo it. It's a very electronic kind of dancey beat, but it was fun, so I figured I'd stick with it. And then I added a bass line down here uh, using this bass line um, instrument called the low growl. Solo that here. And then I pulled up probably one of my favorite instruments in caustic is the the um, uh, modular instrument. It's really cool for making a lot of different sounds. This one um, I used as part of my melody. And I just let things repeat a few times and I made a couple different patterns so I could uh, piece them all together when I get down into the sequencer. Uh, a few other little pads and things that I threw in. And there's my mixer settings if anybody cares about that. Got down here into the, the song mode. Um, I really haven't been making full songs with Caustic yet. I, I just kind of do them when I'm sitting here in my car waiting for the kids to come out from school and you know I got 20 minutes with nothing to do and I just tap away on on the tablet here I'm working on a fire HD 8 tablet it's you know one of those 60 70 dollar tablets I side loaded Google Play on it so that I could load caustic uh, I don't know if caustic is available on Amazon App Store or not, but I had already purchased it for my phone, so I sideloaded Google Play on there. That way I didn't have to pay for the app again. Um, 
I just started making mini tracks and I thought I'd share these on uh, Dropbox and share links to them. And if people heard something in there that, you know, inspired them to maybe want to try and do something with it themselves, then I'm kind of building a framework for them. Uh, something, a little skeleton that they can use in their own music. And I figure, you know, me making something, even if it is tiny and 30 seconds long, is better than me making nothing at all and sitting around at home watching TV and not playing. So here's the first one. I just called it Groove the First. Uh, my titles don't really have anything to do with the songs themselves. They're just placeholders to enumerate things. So here it goes. Groove the First. There's that modular synth. I really like that build. And here's the first change coming up. Change the beat a little bit in the bass line. And then back to the first one with a different melody. And here's a little break. That was more of a bridge. Well, there's my break coming up next. back to the first pattern and then it ends here in a second so that's all there is to that one it's really a pretty simple little track uh, I'm going to link to the Dropbox down below for that one so if anybody is interested in using some pieces for that in your own tune all i really ask is give credit where credit is due if you use something and you you use a significant amount of it then you know give me some credit or just say hey some loops picked up by tim um and that's it i'll see you next time